Hello everyone, welcome to GK Today. Today's topic is Can Moon Support Plant Life? So let's start the video and find the answer. Recently, scientists have grown plants in the soil collected from moon which is a historic first in human history and a major milestone in space exploration. This experiment was jointly undertaken by NASA and research from the University of Florida. The researchers from the University of Florida showed in their research study that how plants can successfully sprout and grow in the lunar soil during the Apollo moon missions. Their study also researched how plants respond biologically to the lunar soil which is also known as lunar regolith. The results of the experiment have been published recently in the journal Communications Biology. Now we will understand what is this experiment all about. The researchers used lunar soil samples collected by Apollo 11, 12 and 17 missions to grow Arabidophysis which is a relative of mustard green. In this mission, a gram of lunar soil was used to grow each plant. Now, for mostly we will understand what is Arabidophysis. Arabidophysis is a widely used plant in the plant sciences as its genetic code has been fully mapped. Growing the plant in the lunar soil gives the researchers more insight into how the soil affected the plants down to the level of gene expression. The scientists also added water and seeds to the soil samples and stored them in a terabium boxes in a clean room. As the soil is poor in nutrients, a solution had to be added to it daily. And two days later, the seeds sprouted much to the surprise of the researchers. Now, the next question is, were the plants the same as the grown on earth? The answer is no. While the scientists were able to grow the plants, it was observed that the plants were not as strong as the ones grown on the earth. The scientists observed that the plants grew more slowly and had stern rooted and some even had stern leaves and supported reddish pigmentation. Despite this, the experiment is significant for NASA's future space exploration goals. Now, the next question is, how will this experiment help NASA's space goal? As we all know that NASA is planning to use resources found on the Moon and Mars to develop food sources for future astronauts living and operating in the deep space. So this latest experiment is essential, the first step in figuring out how plants can grow in the future for food and oxygen on the moon during the space missions. And it will also support NASA's work in unlocking agriculture innovations that can help us to understand